I have an 11 by 14 poster. I actually have three of these, one for the Tesla Model 3, Tesla Model S, and Tesla Model X, but I don't have picture frames for them, and I don't want to go buy them. So I think it'd be cooler if I were to 3D print them. And so I tried. Uh, these are my first two. The first one, the temperature was a little bit too hot, and as you can see, it's really thin, so it kind of tilted a little bit. Stopping that print though, I printed this new one and I printed it with 100% infill so that it's stronger and it's much more, it feels a little heavier, feels better quality. It is a little rough on the side right here. I think it might be because of the new PLA that I'm trying. I'm printing in PLA. Um, it's going to look something like this. Hopefully it can like go around the edges like this. Now there is a little slot inside of here, it's kind of hard to see, but there is a slot so that the actual picture can go inside of here. And I also am going to use cardboard, so this is like a little sample piece of it. And the cardboard is basically going to fit in here as like a backing, and there's still just enough room for the picture frame, or the actual like uh, picture, which is this, to slide in here. Now, I do have an issue with this side. For some reason, there is no gap. It's like printing support, but like really strong support inside of here and I can't break it. So I think what I'm gonna do in the third prototype, because this is the first, second, third one, what we're going to do is we are going to make sure that the edges are thicker so that it doesn't need the support inside of here. Printing at super quality, 100% infill set, and when I'm looking at the preview for it like this, it doesn't seem like it does the weird kind of support thing in the middle. I did beef up the sides. This is print three. I'll be going over the CAD for this at the end of the video so you have all the measurements and everything. And it looks like the print is finished. So we're at 100%. And if we look at it, I made it a little bit thicker on the sides. There's still a little bit of iffiness right here, but the bottom looks absolutely great. Now, the side doesn't have any more of that weirdness in the middle with the supports. So we could just pull this off and we can go and test to see if it fits. So first goes in the cardboard. That's like the back. It's going to be along the entire thing. And next we slide the picture in and it fits in perfect. So I'm going to print three more of these, put them on the sides, and then we'll put it all together. And then we'll go over the measurements for sure. So I've gone through a couple versions, but this is the complete version one of the picture frame. And there's going to be a second version because this one is not perfect. And you'll see why in a second. One of my first prototypes, as you saw the other two, Another one, the third one, was with magnets. So I tried to stick the sides of the frame together with magnets. That did not work though, because the magnets weren't strong enough, like the magnet to surface area ratio. I just couldn't fit enough magnets on there, and so they didn't properly hold the frame together without it breaking apart. Now, the next thing I tried was a locking mechanism. So basically, the bottom and the top of the frame have it so where there is kind of like a peg and it fits into a hole and it would hold the frame together. Now the only problem with this is that it like took three to four times more filament to print and I didn't want to do that because at that point it's like might as well just buy a super cheap picture frame, right? Instead what I did is I'll just glue it all together. The second kind of design is going to be a lot better. So there's some issues with this one but since I already printed everything out I'm just going to roll with it. For this one uh, what ended up happening is the part in the middle that holds the cardboard and the actual picture, it's a little bit too wide. So next time we're going to shrink it a little bit, that way it can grasp onto the cardboard and the picture. For this one, since it didn't grasp tight enough, I had to use hot glue to hold it together. You'll see that in a second. So the first thing that I did was get the cardboard ready um, it's 11 by 14, doesn't have to be exact, but it should be within kind of like a very appropriate realm, 11 by 14, somewhere around there. I next put staples in it, that way I can just put a paper clip in the back and maybe put like a string or something, that way I can hang it easier. And I'm going to put the first kind of dabs of glue on the back. I'm just going to do three, that's all it really needs. Um, three on each of the parts where it touches the frame, the corner, and then the two edges. 
And then after that, I'm just going to line up the next one and I'll do that one. And then you'll see that I have these two little nubs. Now, what are these? Well, they're basically the same thing as the longer ones, except they're just this one part. And they're two millimeters because for some reason, I guess I messed up. And when I was doing this, I messed up the measurements by two millimeters on each side. So I'm missing a total of four millimeters. That's why I printed these little parts and they're just going to stick in there. It doesn't look too great, but at the same time, it doesn't look too bad. I mean, it looks DIY, so I like it. I still think it looks really cool. Now I'm going to do the top part and you'll see that the sides actually line up pretty good. The, so I'm not really going to do anything there. Um, the sides are good. I just got to redo the top part again with the two little pieces. And after I do that, it's basically all done. So we've kind of finished this first prototype. Now, again, the next one will be better. You'll see that in a second. But essentially what it's going to do is just grab on so we don't need the glue. So second prototype coming up. So I have the finished picture frames. They look pretty cool. So this one's for the Model 3, and this one's the first one that I made. Now, this one, there's some slight issues with it. As you can see, there's like this part on the top where it's just like not long enough, so I had to print two little things. And I could have redone the prints really easily and really cheaply, but at the same time, I wanted to just kind of show the progress. Now you can see the borders are super thick, and we'll compare it to the next one, and it's not as thick. The way I'm going to hang these, it's kind of tailored to my situation, but I basically have two paper clips that I have in the staples that I put before I put the whole thing together. So staples through the cardboard, paper clips on them, and then this rubber band is just going to hold on to like whatever, like a nail or something. So pretty simple in that regards. And then the sides, they look okay. Um, on the back, it's all hot glued. So hot glue along here along here and along here the sides a lot of hot glue so this one obviously isn't great because it's kind of like stuck in here and to take it apart i would essentially have to break this off and then redo the cardboard and all that stuff so this one's not perfect this one kind of sucks but i still think it looks cool again it's super thick so the second prototype or the second kind of modeling is this one so if you compare them I think you can kind of see the difference. It's a little bit thinner, basically. This one is pretty heavy, and this one's really light. So this one, I used 100% infill for it because I was having issues with support and stuff. This one, not so much. So as you can see, it is a lot thinner. And there's no hot glue. So on the back, nothing. It's really clean. It's really nice. And on the front, it's together nicer. So the top part looks good, the sides look good, everything's pretty good. It looks like a normal picture frame that you get at the store. Now the only kind of issue is I don't have like a front plastic part that covers it. But my thought is like it's going to be hanging up, it's fine, nothing's really going to touch it. This one's for the Model S. So this is the second one that I did. And lastly, I have the Model S. And the Model S is like this one. Looks just like the Model X, I didn't change anything because I really like how it turned out. Um, we're gonna go over the CAD in a second, but it's pretty simple. Again, the frame, you can see small gap at the top there if you look really closely. And this one, how this one works is it's squeezing together the cardboard and the picture. So if I just pull this off a little bit, that's all it is. It's just holding it together and it's a really tight fit. So it takes some patience and a little bit of finessing to get it all together. Um, what I did was when I had something like this, I put the longer side in, I like pushed it in, make sure that was held down, and then I just kind of finesse the side down here to push it in, and that worked. So this is the second prototype of what I have essentially. Now, we'll go over the CAD and everything because the measurements kind of depend on the cardboard that you use for the backing. Because um, you do need the cardboard, otherwise the picture frame would be super wobbly in here. You don't want that. But the picture lays really flat. Um, there's a bit, of a bit of a curve to it, but Honestly, it's not that noticeable. Probably with the cardboard that I use because I use not very good cardboard. So that's pretty much it. And now for the CAD. We have successfully gone through our 11 by 14 picture frames. However, my CAD design's a little bit messy. So we're gonna look at these 12 by 18 one. 
that I will be printing next for a 12 by 18 picture I have. So let's look at the sketch first. Of course, the first thing that we're going to do is split it in half. So we're going to have six inches here and then nine inches here, 12 by 18. And that's from the top to the very bottom where the picture and the actual cardboard is making contact, not of the frame itself because the frame itself is another 1.5 inches more than that. You can make this a little bit bigger if you want like a thicker frame or if you want more support when printing because that can be an issue I ran into. And that is why after this, um, I, well, I'll continue that, that is why in a second. But after this sketch, we finish the sketch, we're gonna want to extrude it. And extruding it is gonna really depend on how thick the cardboard in the picture you're using. Mine, when I squeeze them together, is about 1.43 millimeters. So, um, so when I push this frame in, it's going to hold itself in without needing any glue or tape or anything. So that's super important there. Uh, you're gonna wanna use some calipers, get a nice precise measurement. And then after that, all we're doing is making the edges. So the picture and the cardboard can stay in there. So Bringing this out two millimeters is just because I would like more support. You can try 1.5 millimeters for smaller pictures, um, and I think that is pretty good too. But when I'm printing like this 12 by 18, it's good to have more support. And then this is going to be seven millimeters up. And then also we are going to have this, but for on the side right here, two millimeters, seven millimeters. And then we're just going to make a uh, mid plane and then mirror it across. Once we're done with that, we can save it and then we can export it and send it to our slicer and print it. And that's pretty much it for the picture frame. Um, you can tailor this to whatever picture, whatever situation that you like, but this is the very basic structure of it. And that is how I made my picture frames for less than $2, I think. $2 for each. Somewhere around a dollar, actually. I feel the best.